Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, bringing you the latest and the greatest in PlayStation 4, homebrew news, and much, much more. Today, I bring to you a new series This just simply called Back to Basics. So what is Back to Basics, you might be asking? Well, there's a lot of brand new people that is new to the PlayStation 4 homebrew scene that wants to get started enjoying all of the different cool features and functionality that jailbreaking your PS4 can provide but they may not know exactly where to start. So I thought that I would start today with the most fundamental thing that you need to do in order to get your PlayStation 4 jailbroken on 9.00, and that is updating to 9.00. This is one of the PlayStation 4s that I keep in one of my bedrooms that's on a very low system software and update to 9.00. Why, you may be asking, it's because I believe right now with the PlayStation 4 jailbreaking on 9.00, it's probably the best that it has ever been before. Now, especially with these S2 mini chips that I talked about yesterday, being able to jailbreak in about 40 seconds or less, as well as just the stability of the firmware, to all of the several thousands of games that you can go ahead and play and start enjoying today, there's just a lot of reasons to go ahead and to update to 9.00. Okay, so it is time to say goodbye to the PlayStation 4 that is setting right here on 6.72 that I have enjoyed throughout the years. Again, I am a person of my word, and when I say that it's time to go to 9.00, I'm going to do it myself on my own hardware. So here I am, 6.72, and we're going to update this to 9.00, starting right now. So first off, I wanted to begin by going directly to Sony's site itself and showing you that they have instructions in here for how you can update your system software on a PlayStation 4 console. So if we scroll down into this page, you'll see it says, okay, the latest system software update was right here, and it is setting at 9.04. And just so you know, 9.04 and 9.03, they are not exploitable at the time of this video version 9.00 is, and that's the one that we will be updating to today. So if we go ahead and collapse that menu and then come back down, it says how to update the PS4 console system software. And here are the instructions to manually update it. If you're wondering why we can't just go into the PlayStation 4, go to system software, and grab the software update from there. That's because it will automatically try to download and put you on 9.04. Again, that's the latest official firmware as of this time. 9.50 will be coming very shortly after. So we need to update our console manually. So it says right here, it says, go ahead and use a PC or Mac and create a folder called PS4 and put this on a USB drive formatted as FAT32. And inside that, create another folder called update. And then it says, download the update file. There's a button below. And so keep in mind this button down here at the bottom, this is going to redirect you to download the 9.04 update which is not what we want. But I'll show you where you can download the 9.00 update in just a second. And then it says, start the PS4 in safe mode by pressing and holding the power button and then releasing after the second beep. And then there's these instructions on how to enter into safe mode and then update from USB storage device. And we'll be walking through each one of these steps. I just wanted to show you the overarching picture of what we're going to be doing here today. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at formatting our USB stick. Okay, and so for the most part, pretty much any USB thumbstick will work. I have a two gigabyte USB 
thumbstick right here, which I have went ahead and I have inserted into my computer here. As you'll see, it is listed as disk one and it is online. So what I need to do first off is, is that I need to bring open this tool. So if you go down to Windows and you go to search, just type in the word disk management and you will be here at this screen. Also make sure you have a USB drive inserted. Okay, once you have all of that, simply go down to the drive, right click, and then go to where it says format. Once you click on format, you can change the volume label if you would like to. I think for mine, I just went ahead and put in PS4 underscore nine. And then for the file system, just make sure it is set to FAT32. Again, these were in the instructions just a moment ago. And once that is complete, go ahead and press the OK button and then OK again. Just make sure that you are formatting the correct disk. Okay, and so once that is complete, you will be able to see this drive in your Windows Explorer as shown right here. Let's go ahead and start building out the file structure, though, that was detailed in that web page just a moment ago. So let's come in here and let's go ahead and let's create a new folder. And we will name this capital PS4. And then we're going to create a new folder again. And this one's just going to be called update. And now we need to go and download the 9.00 PS4 firmware. And so the absolute best place to go and to download that, in my opinion, is Darth Sterney's firmware. What you will see is you'll see all of the official firmware that's been released, as well as there's recovery firmware and a few others. The one that we will need for this exercise is going to be the one that is just called firmware 9.00. So you can navigate through and right here on the archive.org, go ahead and click on the download button. And once you do that, it will begin downloading the 9.00 firmware. Now, as it is downloading that, there is one thing that you will want to pay special attention to. So right here is the MD5 hash that we need to check once that file has been downloaded to verify the file integrity before we try to update using it. Okay, in order to show this, what I have done is I have went ahead and I have opened up a command prompt and I have created a folder called PS4 update and inside of this folder is simply the ps4 update.pup which is the 9.00 firmware cert util space dash hash file and then space ps4 update.pup and then space md5 and now i can press return here and it will tell me what the md5 hash is of that file so I can see right here that the hash starts with an E923, which is exactly the same as the 9.00 firmware. And then I usually take around like the last couple of digits to kind of spot check that it is the same. So 2754 also matches right up to here with 2754. And so spot checking the rest of the numbers here, it looks like we have an identical file. And so if you did want something that was even easier in order to compare these two strings, you could come up here and you could use text compare. And then it does say right here, the two texts are identical. Okay, great. So we have the file, we have verified, it is the correct hash. Let's go ahead and refresh our memories on how to get our system into safe mode. Okay, again, it is very easy. It says the main thing you need to do is to press and hold the power button on the console, and then you just simply release it after the second beep. Back over on your PlayStation 4, you will want to make sure that you actually shut down your system. So on my system right here, I'm going to simply go to power, and then I'm going to go to turn off the PlayStation 4. So we need to power down the PlayStation 4 completely.
Okay, so now we are in safe mode and these are our options. We're going to take number three, which says update system software. Make sure that you've went ahead and you have plugged your USB drive into your PlayStation 4. And there is three options here. Option number one is update from the USB storage device, which is what we're going to want to take. There is another option here if you have a disk. I haven't seen one of these disks before that allows you to update based off of uh, a disk. So if you've seen one, let me know. I'd love to check one of those out. And then the last one here is to update using the internet. Obviously, you wouldn't want to use that because you would get version 9.04. Okay, so we'll take the first option, and it says connect a USB storage device that contains an update file that is for version 6.72 or later. So keep in mind here is that once you upgrade to a higher firmware version, you can't go back. So on this system here, I will never be able to get back to 6.72, or at least currently, I can't get back to it. So go ahead and take the OK button if you choose, and it will verify right here that it is the proper version. So version 9.00 is what you would want to see. Let's go next. And so now we just wait for the update file to copy over successfully you still have to go in and accept the terms and agreements before it will apply the update. So go ahead and hit the accept button right here. And now it says the system software, the PS4 will be updated. The PS4 will restart and start the update. So press on the update button. And I will speed this section up. Basically, it is now going ahead and it is installing that update file. And once this finishes, the PS4 will automatically reboot and you should have your 9.00 system. Okay. All right, there is our PS4 booting back up. Let's go ahead and let's navigate over to our settings again. And let's go down into system and then system information. And there we go. My 6.72 machine no longer exists. I am on 9.00 and I am already very happy with the decision. So now that you've updated your system to 9.00, now you have a wonderful world of PlayStation 4 homebrew that you can start taking advantage of. Again, there's thousands of games that's available. There is all kinds of goodness that awaits you just right now. You can start by checking out some of my existing videos. If you would like to do things such as running Linux or running different types of emulators, changing your avatar, going ahead and getting all of the trophies for a game, there's so much more left to explore. So I hope this helped, and I'll see you in the next one. Michael, out!